Hey folks, welcome to another numeracy video. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to find factors of numbers. So without further ado, let's get started. So looking at that first question, uh, you know, finding factors of 12, what we need to do is write down all the numbers that actually multiply to 12. So if you think about it like this, we are going to have 1 times 12, and then we've got 2 times 6, and then we have three times four. Now, one kind of quick way, well, not quick way, more of a kind of a surefire way of doing this is to always start with one uh, and then go with two, three, and so on, right? But eventually what's gonna happen is like these two numbers here, the, the, the two numbers that you multiply to get to 12, will get, or any number in that case, will get really close. And that's when you know you've kind of found out all the all of them. So anyway, We've got this at the moment, uh, so that basically means that we can say that factors of 12 are, we're going to put 1, 2, 3, and then we've got 4, 6, and 12 itself. So factors of 12 actually has got 6 factors, which is that 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Now looking at uh, question B, we've got 25, and we want to look for um, all the numbers that actually multiply to 25. So in this case, we've got 1 times 25, and then obviously we can't do 2 times 25, or 3, 4, the only other one that's left over is 5 times 5. And again, if you look at those two numbers right at the end, we've got 5 and 5 that are you know almost the same, so we know that we can't get any other numbers bigger than that. So what we're going to do then is we're actually going to say that factors of 25 are 1, 5, and 25. Now, even though uh, you might be looking at the answer and go, well, I actually, you know, shouldn't it be 1, 5, 5, 25? Well, it doesn't really matter because we're counting it. Um, even though it appears twice, we still see f the 5 as a singular factor, right? So we don't actually write it twice. So we just leave that as 1, 5, and 25. So let's look at question C. We've got 64. So I'm going to go 1 times 64 because that's like the easiest one to start with. And then I've got 2 times uh, half of 64. That's going to be 32. Then I'm thinking is like, well, can 64 be divided by 3? Um, uh, don't think it can so I'm not gonna go 3 and then you've got 64 um, divided by 4 so that's gonna be 4 times 16 5 doesn't go 6 doesn't go 7 doesn't go and then we've got 8 8 times 8 okay so that's pretty much it there so we've got factors of 64 we can say are 1 2 4 8 16, 32, and 64. And once again, notice that I'm, I'm, I'm writing the 8 only once. I'm not actually writing it twice. Now, one thing I'd recommend you folks to be um, doing when it comes to factors is that notice how like I'm writing the small numbers on the uh, left-hand side, and then I'm always putting the, the bigger numbers on the right-hand side. So you can kind of, you know, just kind of like, how do I explain it? So if you think about it like this, you know, you've got the yellow line first and then you've got the green line and the numbers <laughs> in the yellow line, the numbers are actually going up and in the green line, the numbers are actually going down. And eventually what happens is that you're going to come to a point where the numbers are kind of similar to each other, like in number 12. Um, and that's when you know you kind of figured out all the factors um, for that particular number. Anyway, folks, that is just a quick little example of um, how to find factors for any given numbers. All right, folks, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Now, there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here. Great material for revision, and as always, thank you for watching.